Jesus Reigns TV, impacting, dominating, colonizing nations with the gospel of Jesus Christ. The prayer of a righteous man prevails. You're watching Faith Time with Yam Keller Joseph, a servant of God in our time. Connect in faith. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. What a marvelous time, what a marvelous hour. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon your life. Now, family, the Lord, the God of heavens, in the early hours of this morning around 3 a.m., uh, spoke to me and uh, vividly in this vision, I saw a very, very important prophetic word that I would love to share with you. And uh, I believe that the Lord is speaking something. I know many of you would say, okay, what does this mean? And I would love to interpret the meaning when whatever that is spoken has already probably happened or whatever that the Lord is saying has come to clarity. So for now, I would only read what I was shown and leave it for your spirit and for your prayer closet for the Lord to reveal to you what is the Lord meaning uh, by this. So it was 3 a.m. in this morning uh, when the Lord spoke to me about this in a vision. So in this vision, I see two prophetic presidents or presidents or symbols. So two presidents which are prophetic symbols, which are also prophetic uh, uh, symbols that the Lord spoke to me about. So I'll just read to you what I wrote. I was in this vision, I was in the United States through a South African lady who invited me for a conference. Her radio name is Mafa Nelukazi. She is in the radio in the United States in Atlanta. Her real second name is Apleni. While we were in this lounge or main dining space, two South African presidents came to join the prayers. As they came one by one in the dining hall, one of the presidents is President Zuma, and the other I only knew in the dream. But upon waking up, I could not remember his face or name. It is as if it was wiped out of my memory. But as these presidents appeared in the room, Zuma was asked by my wife, why is he not praying? He said, I believe in the God of how scientists to describe him. But internally, he was praying silently to the Lord Jesus. The other president who was there would look like Zuma, but still I didn't remember him properly. I don't know if he was a duplicate of President Zuma or it was president, former president Mbeki. But I called these two presidents to sit down with me as I will tell them the prophetic symbols of their presidency through the two eagles which seated on their shoulders. Now, family, I want you to know that I'm not sure whether the second president who the person is. But what I'm sure about is that the other president amongst these two was the president, this, the former president of South Africa, President Jacob Zuma, who was part of the two president. Then the other one is as if like when I woke up from this vision, it was wiped out of my memory. So only Jacob Zuma stayed in my memory until the morning as the Lord wanted me to document what I have seen. Now, I will not try to guess and who he was, but 
it i don't know if it looked like a duplicate or like a duplicate of the same president president zoma of the two bodies or not i don't know because it looked like it, it was him but at the same time there were two presidents before me but i called these two presidents to sit down with me as i will tell them the prophetic symbol of their presidency through the two eagles which seated on their shoulders as i was prophesying i said the first president his presidency was a symbol of divine beginnings and the abroot of the wicked and the second presidency of zuma was a continued was a continuation of the uproot of the wicked so this is what the lord said the first presidency of the first president was the beginning was the divine beginning of the uprooting of the wicked and the uprooting of the wicked and then the second president which is the presidency of jacob zuma was the presidency that continues with the uproot of the wicked but unfortunately they both failed because they didn't know the magnitude of the evil and the size of the cabal that they were dealing with as i prophesied to them about their attempts to uproot this cabal i asked that i should take a picture with both of them as the prophetic illustration of the future that is not forgotten as i looked at the two presidents the lord said one of them had the toughest presidency period and the greatest persecution but he would still ask the lord jesus christ in his private times to help him and that was jacob zuma the lord further showed me how he tried to fix the nation but was hindered by this great cabal which meets under the ground or in the mountainous cave so this cabal the lord said to me there's a cabal that meets under the ground and meets in an in a, in a mountainous cave the lord as he spoke to me asked as he spoke to me asked that we pray for the cleaning up of this cabal is not yet finished and it will be finished then i was left to prepare for the upcoming program in the united states as the tour i was going to embark on in visiting different states in the nation the dream was left after i took a picture with the two presidents now i took a picture with these two presidents and i told them that i want to take a picture as a evidence that i have met them and spoke to them the word of the lord after the two eagles sat upon their shoulders and i was then allowed to interpret their presidential terms the law says the first one it was the beginning of the abroot and the second term it was actually the continuation of the abroot of the wicked now it's amazing that the lord speaks to me about these two presidents but it is as if like the prophecy does not happen in south africa it is as if like i'm in atlanta in the united states and i'm there for a conference and to which i was invited to preach in and 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 this radio personality invited me and now i was with these presidents in the dining room now there are many things that i've not probably you would not explain to you but i say to you these are two presidents that i'm seeing but i don't know the other but the other is clear to me and the lord spoke to me about these two presidents that i should interpret their terms now those are in south africa I have to pray because this means the lord wants to do something to the to the nation of south africa it means that the lord has not forgotten about south africa and god will do something pray that god will use his hand and mighty hand to clean up the cabal that the lord spoke to me about that there is a cabal and it says they meet under the ground and they meet in a mountainous area now family i want you to pray because the lord says this month of september will be the month of exposures so whatever that the lord is showing will also be exposed in due time so begin to pray as the lord leads may the lord bless you may the lord make his face shine upon your life i only came to just share what the lord has shared with me and i want you to continue to pray for south africa and pray that this nation 
may see the salvation of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Thank you for watching Jesus Reigns TV. Thank you for clicking the notifications. Tell your family and friend. I tell them to subscribe. I love you so much. My name is Amkila Joseph. God bless you. Shalom. that God has sent me on an assignment and God has sent me for a specific prophetic visitation that I may go to pray and intercede from Robben Island in South Africa. Thank you for watching Jesus Reigns TV. I believe that you are blessed by the testimonies, the prophecies, the teachings that you keep receiving into this channel. Family, I believe that God is doing great things all over the world and your life is also being transformed and Jesus is reigning over your life. The prophecies keep coming to pass each and every hour. Testimonies are coming and many people's lives are being transformed by the messages that are being taken out of this channel. I believe that God is only just beginning and the best is yet to come. I want to encourage you never, never to forget to become a partner with Jesus Reigns TV by making sure that you become part of the partner's role using the details that are on the screen right now. You can send the email and request to become a partner of Jesus Reigns TV and you will receive an email which will give you the partnership form. I believe that God wants us to be partners into taking the gospel all over the world. I say each and every one of us us is a product of somebody else's partnership of somebody's offering for us to receive the gospel so you can also save another soul by partnering with the gospel so that the gospel can go all over the world now I want to give you this opportunity as you have heard me preaching the Word of God you say men of God I've heard you prophesying I've heard you uh, teaching the Word of God and I see the testimonies as well and what God is doing but the problem is that me myself I don't know Jesus I don't have a relationship with Jesus and I've never met Jesus Christ so I want to lead you into this prayer of salvation and I believe that the Bible say we believe in our hearts confess with our mouths and we are saved and as you make this prayer God is gonna change your life and God is gonna transform you so just make this prayer after me so Lord Jesus today I believe that you are the son of God you rose and you died and rose again and I believe that in your way I am saved I believe that you are the king over my life and the Lord of my life in Jesus name as you made this prayer I believe that Jesus has entered your heart symbol the Bible say believing in our hearts confessing with our mouth that Jesus is the Lord and we are saved so right now you are saved and I want you to continue living according to the Word of God the Bible said the Word of God is a show word of prophecy so as you receive the Word of God your life is going to be changed. So thank you for watching. My name is Yamkela Joseph. I believe the next time I see you, it will be in your own city, in your own town. God bless you. I love you so much. Shalom. Shalom.